Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Mike. If you're new to ZBrush and you are looking for more videos on sculpting, check out my Skillshare. If you use the link in the description below, you get one month of Skillshare absolutely free and you can cancel anytime with no risk. Skillshare has thousands of videos for all different topics and all of my classes are on there and you can watch them totally free. But without further ado, let's jump right into Dynamesh. So I'm using this demo example in ZBrush. If you go up to the light box and go to project, go down to demo projects and a little frog example is right here. So right now the eyes and the body of the frog are two separate objects, which means that I can only affect each of them as individual objects. If I move the body, it doesn't move the eyes. If I move the eyes, it doesn't move the body, etc. On the right side over here, we have our poly frame button. And if I turn that on, I can zoom in and you can see the topology on any of the subtools that you have selected. So on the right, if I collapse my subtool menu, right below that is the geometry menu. If I open that up, Dynamesh has its own menu within the geometry menu and there's a big button to turn on Dynamesh and right below that there's a resolution slider. If I turn on Dynamesh right now you're going to see the topology of this object change really really dramatically and it's based on the resolution that I have selected here and how big your object is in the world and the scale compared to the world scale. So if I turn Dynamesh on you can see that the topology of this body is now redistributed and it looks a little bit different and I've lost quite a lot of detail. So what exactly does Dynamesh do? If I were to grab my move brush and just move my object around as much as possible and try to stretch out this topology, you can see here that I have polygons that are stretched out so far that you couldn't even possibly use them for anything. The way that you reactivate Dynamesh is you hold control, click and drag outside of your object and let go and Dynamesh will run itself again. Now you can see after I ran Dynamesh, it evened out all the topology of this place that was all stretched out. Everything is even dispersed. One of the problems that you run into with Dynamesh, sometimes you even get little holes in your mesh like you get over here. The way to fix these little holes when they pop up, if you have Dynamesh turned on, is grab your inflate brush and all you have to do is lightly inflate over the top of these holes. Hold control, click and drag outside of your object again and Dynamesh will run again and it should close those holes up. So Dynamesh can change the resolution of your object. If you want your object to be really, really low resolution, you could turn the resolution slider all the way down, hold control, click and drag, and if nothing happens, that's because you haven't made any changes to your object. So you need to hold shift and just smooth on one part of the object or move something. Then when you hold control and click and drag, it will run Dynamesh again. And obviously this is pretty low, so it destroyed all of my detail. So you just have to be careful with what settings you use. And it all depends on what you're working on and if you wanna add more detail or if you just wanna even out the topology of your mesh. Now let's say I wanna merge the eyes and the body of this object together. Dynamesh lets you merge objects together in your scene as long as they're the same subtool. So right now, if I click on my subtool menu, the body, the eyes, and the sphere are all separate subtools, so they're not affected by one another. So in order to merge these objects together to make them all one, what I need to do is select the top one. And if I want, I can use these arrows down below my subtool list to move the objects around in my scene so I can move them up or down. So if I want the body at the top, I can move it up to the top this way. Then in my subtool menu, I can go down to the merge menu select merge down and when I select merge down it will merge the body of the frog with whatever is directly below it in my subtool list and now it's merged down with the eyes so now the eyes and the body are the same subtool but the eyes are still separate from the body they're still two pieces and they're not actually merged together yet so now if I want to merge the eyes and the body as one piece using Dynamesh all I have to do is go back to my geometry menu on the right go down to Dynamesh make sure that it's turned on and it will merge the pieces together Obviously I destroyed the resolution of this object because my resolution was set way too low. So if I hit control Z, I can crank my resolution up to something like five or 600, turn Dynamesh on, and now the eyes and the body are merged together as one piece. If you're stuck with the body and the eyes merged together and you don't want them to be one piece anymore and you wanna split them apart again, what you can do is hold control and shift, click on the eyeballs because they're their own independent poly island and it'll just show that and hide everything else. Then you can just hold control, click and drag your mask over the top of the eyes, hold control shift, click again to show everything in your scene. And then you can just go back to your subtool menu, go down to the split menu and select split masked points. What that does is anything that's masked for that subtool will become its own subtool again. So now the eyes are separated from the body. So what does this mean for merging objects together? It means you could actually go back to your subtool list, 
Go to Append, select a new sphere, and you can actually attach it to your object using Dynamesh. So if I were to place this up here on this frog, hold Control shift d to duplicate an object in your subtool list, and then press W to bring up your move gizmo, and you can just move an object over. Press Control shift d again to duplicate it one more time. Use the gizmo to move it over here. I can just merge these objects together by selecting my frog, and then I can select Merge Down, Merge Down, Merge Down. So now all of these subtools are one piece. They're all the same subtool together. Then I can just go back to my Dynamesh menu over here, make sure that the resolution is high enough, turn Dynamesh on, and now Dynamesh has actually combined these pieces together and the topology is all evenly dispersed and it is all one solid piece. You can just move geometry around and any geometry that's overlapping or intersecting with each other, you can just use Dynamesh again by holding control, clicking and dragging outside your object. And now that geometry is merged together. So this is great for joining pieces together. If you're working on a sculpt and you just wanna work really fast and just keep merging things together, Dynamesh works excellent for if you're just trying to block out giant shapes fast, trying to make parts look interesting early on before you get into the topology of your object. And you can stretch out the geometry all you want and push it around all you have to do is hold control, click and drag outside your object again, and everything will redistribute the topology and merge all the pieces together, and you're good to go. Whoa! If you like this video, if you found it helpful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to see when I come up with new stuff. But until next time...